centuries with John Higgins. Of course, Trump this season has had 50 already by far, the leading century break maker of the campaign. This is uh, not hard enough. Well, this is certainly harder. Trump's taking this red on. Is it going to reach? Is it going to get there? Well, it's heading for the jaw. An early shout for a possible re rack here because I don't see what. Even then, Judd's played that shot, but. Well, that's one way of trying to move the red. I think it's a very risky shot to play. Just to say, Mark Selby's already a frame to the good against Alfie Burden on table two. Be a birthday it is. Against Burden, he's, I think, 8 nil in his favour. A record between these two. Well, that must have been very close. It looked like... and the cue ball came back and hit the, the rest which was lying on the table, which I suppose is a foul to join anyone's memory. Again, I think it's very risky. That was a very ambitious plant. You don't know where the balls are going to finish. And the red went over the middle. He left the red over the bottom pocket as well. Now Judge. Well, he's tried to get into the reds there, but. Judge Trump, three. Uh, early days yet, not much happening yet. One. Oh, that was a clean pot. Uh, First rose to prominence, really. He beat Martin Gould in the China Open 2016. I heard much of. Nine. Last season he reached the... But he'd beaten Mark Williams and Steve Maguire, so you know he's... Sixteen. I think we put that Graham Dot defeat. Heavy defeat. Bit unlucky there, not to be on anything. You answer June twenty-one. Is running. He's been in the semis. Yes, and I think he's. You could say that he's probably a fan of the Northern Irish as well, having won the last twice. It's been his year. To what twenty nineteen? He started it winning the Masters. He won the World Championship. He's world number. Just shows you his intent. I think as world champion, world number one wants to just keep winning. to take the cue ball away from the red a bit. I think he looks the part of the table, Jan Sejun. I do think that he, you know, he's got a little bit of a swagger around the table. <coughs> Goodness me. About six reds moved there. They're still moving, all of them. Such a good pop, it really is. You saw the way he was killed. Talk about Higgins and Hendry, the centuries. Just nine. Six. 
17. This is already looking a typical Judd Trump break where he comes to the 23. We've pushed that red far. 26. Thirty-two. Well, that is an absolute beauty. Again, it didn't. Thirty-eight. And again, look at that shot. Played right through the gap on that red. 44. And he's just taking these so well. And on, red and a black. And Wancy Jun needs a snooker. Oh, I think I lost count of the amount of frames during the amount of concentration and thought. I mean, he doesn't play exceptional. I mean, arguably the best we've 59. ever seen. Well, if he takes a black off this red, he can just make a century. Started with a fantastic red, little bond. But uh, he's put in so many great performances throughout the year. Seventy-eight. Well, he's played. Not to be, Judd but an excellent 28. seventy-eight. Great break that from Judd Trump. He takes the opening frame, and they'll be up tonight. They first played professionally in 1990, so nearly 30 years ago, and still going strong. Well, he puts more of those than he misses. One. They've done Nine. okay, although. Yeah, he broke down the 16. shot before, really, when he was short on the black. The shot before that, when he was... On table two. Well, he certainly caught those thin. He knew... Not a good idea to leave Judd Trump chances like this. Seven. Fifteen. Twenty-three. Probably the only option he had. Judd Trump, 20. Well, again, one that he would get more times than he misses. It's the odd. One. Yeah, he had all sorts of wins last season against real. T one man who is through is Martin Gould. He's beaten the Polish player. Eight. 
16. Well, you can see the safe red over by his bridge hand there on the right, but... Oh, that's a good shot. Stand around two cushions. Now this Jan Sijun puts his... 39. Makes him look like a bit like just a... 46. Well, it didn't seem the cleanest contact. If Trump doubles this red... Oh, he got close to it. And that was the other part. How he cued the ball makes any difference on a shot like that that he played. I think it's just bad luck. It really was. It, it was impossible. Well, he's been very fortunate there. That was quite a serious misjudge. Played that shot because he didn't want to, but he's not over the line by any means. Many a frame like this, you see a young player. No, he So every chance for Trump, he needs the money. Needed a couple more balls. Robbed him of the opportunity to carry on. Eight. Seventeen. I think the key here would be to get on the blue. Be so straightforward to get the last three colours. Twenty-four. Twenty-nine. Well, I said it before, he's a bit one of the best players I've seen at taking the... Well, the angle is there, but he's played it beautifully. Thirty-five. Very controlled. <laughs> Pocket. Judd Trump pots the black. Ricky Walden has beaten Stuart Carrington 4-3. So he's through to the last 32. Yeah, some big hitters still going strong. It could be a great lineup. See? Mark Allen, defending champion, got through without much fuss this morning. He was first on this table. Glasgow. As Dave said, we go from all these matches and all these players to just eight at the end of tomorrow. It seems a huge... One. Oh, that's a good shot as well. It was as good as the, the doubled red. That. Oh, wow. He pulled it off the other ball. Four. Obvious to it. Sometimes you're better off not knowing things like that. Yeah, now the three reds are lined up, but he is now. One minute, Judd, please. Team season. In fact, he made his hundredth against Trump. It's a bit hard to compare the two 
feats in terms of where Trump is, though, because the tournaments were different. He is sort of on course. As I say, he's playing in the European, the German Masters. He's and then the challenge, of course, would be to beat Robertson's total of 103, not just make 100. 35. wonder if anyone's mentioned... We'll get a few mentions, though. Because he inflicted the crucible curse, didn't he, once on Neil Robertson. That kicked. 41. We'd have different forms of chalk you've got. Someone who's retired from the game. Anyway, that was a good effort to break them, which failed. Judd Trump, 46. Well, this has opened everything up, but it's not safe. People in behind Brown, I think, is the shot here. Jet Trump, one. Well, he's got the first part of the shot. Nothing wrong with that. One thing I would say about Judd Trump as world champion, I don't think he's put up with Nigel Bond. I thought he spoke well afterwards. That was an attempt. Just a question of where everything finishes. Now there's another save ball, that red, which favours Trump. Oh, good shot. Someone that didn't enter, and of course he still may not qualify. Well, it's, if there's a pot on, he won't go back. If there isn't, it will. No miss. Jack Trump, four. Been a bit lucky, isn't he? I think players do when they're not actually happy. Crying on the inside. Yeah. He's still in this frame with the hope, but. Foul. No miss. Is this a free ball? Dirk Trump. Four. Twice across, you could slip round behind this red if he's not careful. Well, that's no good, I don't think. It didn't ever seem oh, hard enough. Line, same line, more pace. <coughs> oh, that's good. Very good. Well, that's another four points oh. just given away. Miss. Trump. He's just in this frame still, mathematically, plus the fact that the balls are not that awkward. But the big problem now is the judge is. the other red well there wasn't much pocket there to put it cleanly that's very good One. Now. just coasting it seems could have lost frame two this red is frame ball oh beautiful Five. A Brazilian player didn't see any of it yesterday when he played dot. Well, 
the second front is strong in all areas in this match. That red hasn't dropped, so... Ooh, and very nearly went in off, he hasn't. Mark Selv is about to beat Alpi Burden on table two. Selv in the last 32 round. Well, I think that's a concession. So, should Trump plows on the next round? Judd Trump leads Wansi John 3 0, and he's looking to kill this off. All the signs are that he will. Wansi John has had chances. He's been a bit unlucky here and there, I think, but Trump has certainly been stronger in all departments. Well, that was a great shot. One. The way that he cued it so purely. Well, it's you been one of those afternoons, and he. Uh, now he. I mean, Judd himself was the yeah. same. I mean, he turned professional. Yes, I mean, he turned pro playing the tactical play and wouldn't let him see a pot. Seven. And, uh, of course, that's the, the step up you have to make. The disappointments that were definitely there early in his career. Yeah, there's many a player that can frustrate a younger player on the tour. Just waiting for the right opportunity. Either that or you know, really opening up the balls against lower. If you think you're a better scorer than them, make sure everything's out in the open and even seasoned pros. But if you're not playing well, that Obviously playing Judd is a totally different story. Twenty eight. Well, good news for one of the local players. Yeah, you wouldn't want to walk to Perth from here, would you? I don't know what you meant. <laughs> well, it was once... Well, there's two Perths, there's two Barnsleys, aren't there? As we know. To play him on this table. Next. Let's hope he hasn't gone to the Emirates in London. 39. 40. Well... <laughs> Just when you thought the match 46. was over. He's... Well, story of the day, in a way, for Wan Sijun. One. Pretty emphatic in the pot success. I mean, Yan Sijun, with a pot success rate of 71%, isn't going to be many players. Uh, once again, not quite. Trump, seven. Oh, another <laughs> terrific pot. Good grief, that, that blue was not close, though. And the white's gone in, and the yeah, red is going over one. the pocket. So this is a chance five. for Wan Sijun. Well, I'm just saying. One. Yeah, the, the way Trump played the blue is the way he would play it if he was maybe 80 in front. Well, it's not really the time to be frustrated. It's a definite chance for Wan Sijun. Yeah, Judd took Eight. a liberty, and he probably knows it. I'm like Trump. 14. Well, who's to say now? Mm. Second prize, I think it'll be the attempt at a snoot. Yeah, it's okay, that's 20. keeping him. Well, that he's not going to leave the red on here. Well, even if he hit it, that would. Not that he's missed it. Foul. Well, the miss. A lot of you balls have to be replaced here because he's certainly going to want it all sorted. Oh. 
One second, John. Put the clock down. Thank you. Four, please. Let himself into trouble in this frame. Oh, oh it just touched Five. it. Well, I think we can all agree he's hit that one. The difference. Uh, wow. <laughs> he must trust this table. What kind of shot was that to be even thinking of? That, that has to be level. And it was the wrong shot. He left it on. <laughs> Cannot believe. I know he was in trouble, but how could that possibly be the shot? Playing it took on. Well, the way he played it, anyway. Well, this has gone awkward. Trump seven. Safe ball or safe ish ball on the table. I think that was in his mind there. I thought he may have a go at that, and the value was there. The kiss on the blue has not gone in his favour, particularly. <laughs> this frame has been a little different to the others. He struggled in this frame to get break free and win the match, but earlier on he was pretty clinical. Exhibition shot didn't happen, but in the end it doesn't matter because he still won the frame. Nine. And he's still very much one of the top two or three. I could argue being knocked out of the UK earlier, comes here a little bit fresh, but still backing himself to 14. win the last title of the year, and what a year it's been for Judd Trump. <laughs> what a pot on the pink as well. 20. 